I'm Kamel Nanjiani, I play Steve Banerjee on Welcome to Chippendales, and I'm here with BuzzFeed to play with kittens. What's your name? What's this one's name? Lisbeth? No. I'm gonna sit like this. Hi, baby. What was the question? I think whenever... Well, I'll be quiet, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think whenever we did an actual performance, the background, how excited and into the show they get, so we'd have like men stripping, and during the take, I'm talking softly, we would tell the background not to make any noise because there'd be dialogue and stuff sometimes, and each time they would yell cut, the background would like go wild and scream, and that was exciting to watch because every, we would do 40 takes a day, same exact performance, and every single time, the audience would go wild every single time. Uh, and just the energy of that was really exciting. And you could also see why, why Chippendales was such a success, you know? It was great to get to be involved in all parts of it, you know, to give like notes and scripts. By the way, the writers were amazing, the directors were amazing, but I just enjoyed being a part of every part of the process, being part of editing, giving notes in the script. And then also with the other actors, I love telling them, if you have an issue with anything, come to me if you have any problems. So I kind of like being the guy whenever they had a concern or something, a line that they didn't like or they wanted to change or approach the character slightly differently or something. So I really, I really like that. It's interesting because there isn't that much material specifically on the person. So I really approached it like trying to create the character as it's written. It's not a character like Abraham Lincoln or, you know, Elvis or something where people really know know the person. So I knew, oh, hi. Hi, London. Oh, see, you're both here. You're both here together. I hold my cat like a baby like this. And so that's how I'm used to holding a cat. I knew Dan Stevens, who's a wonderful uh, person and actor and wonderful on the show. I knew Dan, I've been friends with Dan for a while, and it's sort of always been like, we gotta find a way to work together. But other than him, I just sort of got to know everyone. It's truly the best group of humans and actors I've worked with, you know? It was a real joy to work with actors who were like from theater and were like serious, serious actors, you know? I really fell in love with all of them, and it's the first time I've actually gone to my cast members for help. I've never done that before. If I had a scene, I'd go up to Annalie and, or Murray and be like, hey, I'm having trouble with this scene. Could you please help me with it? And we'd like sit on the floor and they'd like help me with the scene. So it was really, really wonderful to have people you love and also actors who've had experience doing this kind of work that you could really rely on to carry you through certain difficult scenes. I think the experience of getting to process such a big part of our life and seeing that those events from each other's perspectives really for the first time, I think was the best part of making that movie. Our experiences were very, very, very different. And we had just assumed that they were very similar, but they were shockingly, in some ways, we had the opposite experience going through that. Hi, baby. Oh, no, 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 hey, come back, baby. You're okay, you're okay. I'd love to do another rom-com with Emily, but I think, you know, we have a couple of scripts we've written that are in, you know, various stages of getting made or not made. Yeah, we we had a great text thread going. I think Anna Lee was always, you know, she's all, hi, oh, hi, who are you? Zurich. Oh, Zurich is very pretty. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna put you guys here. Yeah, Annalie was the one who really, she abuses emojis, I'll be honest. I think she really overdoes it, but in a very charming way, and now I've started doing it. Oh my God, what a sweet face you have. Oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> There's a scene we had in the forest where we have a fight, and I have to do this like, slide that took me 24 tries. I think we got two takes that were good. That was high. And then I loved working with Leah McHugh, so anytime I got to do scenes with her was very, very fun. 
I just never said anything about the movie, so I don't think I ever spoiled anything. You know, I'm a fan of these movies, so I know how strict they are about that stuff. So I, I was very careful. I never spoiled anything because I wanted people to experience it themselves. Come back here, baby. I'm just friends with Seth and Evan, and one day Evan just texted me and was like, hey, do you want to do a cameo for the boys? I was like, I love the show. Evan knew that I, you know, loved the show. And he said, okay, you have to sing. And I was like, I cannot sing. I'm not just being modest. I promise you I cannot sing at all. And he said, even better. <laughs> and then I just recorded. Hi, sorry, sorry, I'll be quiet. I just recorded a selfie on my phone. Oh my God, where did, where did, are they, where's one? Did we lose one? Is, oh, no, 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 you're okay, hi. Oh, look at these sweet babies. This is Zorik, right? I think Zorik is trouble. Favorite memory? I will say that doing the last season was very, very emotional for me. Definitely cried a lot at the end of that. That show really changed my life and it was such a wonderful experience and I learned so much on it. It really changed my career too, so I shot the last season while doing Eternal, so I was back and forth between London and LA. And so I think doing the last season of that was very emotional and especially the last scene, I really, really cried a lot and then got on a plane and went to London to do Eternals. That was a very special season getting to do that at the end. Oh my God, you guys are gonna get me in trouble. I love both very intensely and exactly equally. Marvel and Star Wars, I love you both exactly the same and it's at a very high level. <laughs> my wife, is that she thinks something terrible is happening? Although if I called her during this, she would really, really freak out. And who are you? I got you, Paris. Paris, you're okay. I auditioned for the bad guy in Your Highness that ended up going to Justin Thoreau. I was like, why did I even audition? That's a very different, very, very different person. I love Justin Thoreau, by the way, he's fantastic. I had a very nice watch as Kingo and Eternals. It's okay, Paris, I got you. Paris is scared. I really, really love Succession, and I also love Severance. So Succession or Severance. Any show with an S, I'll, I'll be in it. Just ask me nicely, or ask me in a very shitty way, I'll still do it. Ewan McGregor, for sure, most starstruck by him. He's such a good actor. He's such a wonderful person, too. And he's also just so beautiful. You look into his eyes when you're doing a scene, and it's very easy to forget your lines. Oh, they're falling asleep. Is this one asleep? Yeah, they're both asleep. Oh, thank you, BuzzFeed. Welcome to Chippendales is on Hulu. Oh, sorry, sorry. Welcome to Chippendales is on Hulu. November 22nd, it's got no kittens. But, you know, no show is perfect. Thank you, Heaven on Earth, for letting us play with these absolutely gorgeous kittens. I love every one of them. And please support your local cat rescue. They all need wonderful homes. Mm -hmm.